Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our hopefully still calm XCOM 2 Let's Play and this will be episode 30 and it will also be the first time that I'm going to try and make a second episode in a day since I got pneumonia so we'll see how that goes. Now, in other things, this will be a shorter episode if you're coming from episode 29 and the past I'm not going to completely run through this. We're probably going to go about 20 minutes, and then if we're not through, we will pick up in the next episode from a save. So for right now, it looks like the armory is screaming at us. Let's go see what it's screaming about. View soldiers. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We had picked up a new soldier. And what about it? She has a sniper rifle. Okay. I don't get it. Really not sure what we're excited about here. Just that? Okay, that's not that exciting. We're gonna let that go and not worry about it. Okay. And I am actually very fuzzy about where we were, so I guess we are going to find out together. Battlefield Commander, after our recent success, members of the Resistance in South Africa have brought us reports of activity that we may want to investigate. We would get supplies, but let's say not now and see what else is going on. There is a battleship, the Black Market. That is the Avatar Project. I don't know if there are any Avatar structures still standing. I think we may have taken care of most of those. Battlefield. Battleship alien alloys. Well, I think this is new. Let's see if we can pick up some alloys. Avenger plotting new course. First, and see where we are on research and such. Let's see. Proving ground. Experimental something in one day. Experimental are more. Clear alien debris in four days, sectopod breakdown in five days, and a supply drop in 11. Proving ground, experimental armor complete. Hazmat vest, by reinforcing the nanoscale vest with specialized material, soldiers gain an additional health booth, boost and are completely resistant to any environmental hazards like fire, acid, or poison. Nice. One hazmat vest has been added to the inventory. Accept and continue. And alien debris cleared. A new room is now available for constructing a facility. Josette Simon is now available. Loot recovered, 85 supplies, and view room. Maximum power consumption reached. Okay. Yes, yes, it has been. Okay. Where? We've got a power relay up here, which apparently we could upgrade. What would that cost us? It would cost get two power with that if we put an Illyrium conduit in here cost 20 Illyrium crystals and 150 supplies and what are we what do we have we have 150 Illyrium crystals 620 supplies so let's upgrade our power to an Illyrium conduit power relay upgraded and now we have power grill tactics school this is the room we just cleared, resistance comms. Probably don't need to build another one. We can probably upgrade what we have. No, review upgrade, but we could assign folks if we had enough. We could upgrade this one as well. So let's take a look at this Commander, empty room. Construction of this shadow chamber should allow us to better break down and analyze all the alien artifacts and data we've been recovering. Well, okay then. Let's build the shadow chamber, shall we? For 125 supplies, 5 power, and 14 days. Shadow chamber construction initiated. Okay. Lucas Weiss is building the shadow chamber, decreasing the construction time by 50%. So it'll be up in 7 days. And then I think we have some more engineers available. So let's assign Josette Simon. To excavate this and while we're in here was it armory was it this one no armory no wait engineering 
proving ground. Had a simulator for Bradford to practice Choose on. project. If he crashes this ship, I might just hand him over to Advent myself. Okay, let's see, what can we do here? Rage suit, made from the Berserker Queen. One Illyrium core, five alien alloys, five Illyrium crystals. Wraith suit. War suit. Well, let's go with the rage suit. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Well, thank you kindly. And let's go back out to the geoscape. And run our two days on our battleship Strategic here. Strategic resource located. Okay, an ongoing drought in this region allowed heavy winds to uncover an alien craft likely shot down during the initial evasion some 20 years back. After a thorough aerial survey, we were able to locate a small opening for our team to enter and salvage the alien materials. Reward 54 alien alloys. Okay. Now, let's head on down to the battlefield. Avenger plotting new course. And see if we can't pick up some extra supplies as well. And here we go. Uh-oh. Dark event complete. Rapid response. The aliens improved their threat response procedures, guaranteeing reinforcements on all guerrilla ops for a month. The last thing we need is more advent dropping in on top of us, Central Officer Bradford. But they always sure do anyway. I results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Sectopod breakdown. Let's assign new research. Central claims to have seen one of these things up close back in the day. Despite a lot of speculation, there was no pilot to be found once we pried it open. When we first brought this thing in, some of the troops were still adamant that once we opened it up, we'd find a sectoid or worse at the helm. Fortunately, our precautions weren't necessary. There's nothing organic inside, no operator providing physical directions, unless they're triggering it remotely. All indications point to this sectopod being an entirely autonomous weapon, operating according to the parameters of its system programming. This is exactly the sort of weapon that would have raised eyebrows in the past. I know Dad would have been apprehensive about arming a robot and sending it on its way. It's pretty clear at this point the aliens aren't bound by any moral or ethical obligations. If it's efficient and destructive, they seem to have no problem setting it loose on us. El Shen. New item available, Gremlin Mark III. The Mark III Gremlin is the most advanced version of the Gremlin drone, significantly increasing the hacking stat of all specialists. The specialist's abilities are also substantially improved when he or she is accompanied, accompanied by this support robot. Well then we should build one of those, accept an Archon King autopsy. Dr. Vallen managed to improve on this creature's key systems while somehow maintaining the no doubt carefully crafted appearance conceived by the aliens. Although apparently similar to the standard Archon variant, as seen in the field, this specimen has advanced flight capabilities beyond anything we've previously encountered. It may be possible to adapt this technology into a flight-capable suit of our own. And I research. I have always been particularly fascinated with this species, ever since the first time I spotted one during my travels. Although I had seen the biomechanical horrors deployed by the aliens during the initial invasion, these creatures appear to be something else entirely. Possessing a certain flair, not typically found amongst the aliens, I found this creature to be of great intelligence, masked by the incredible hold of the elders. Okay then. That looks like that's going to take us five days, so let's take a look back at our soldiers aside from whatever this is okay let's just give it something maybe it will be quiet laser sight increased crit chance we've got five of them so sure you can have that and we may have a sniper who knows aim 91 quite possibly all right now let's see Jane is out for one day jolt is still out for six Wow, Jolt took a pounding that last time. Okay, let's head back out to the Geoscape and continue on with our battlefield scavenging. Three, proving ground, rage suit complete. 
The nearly impenetrable skin of the Berserker Queen functions superbly as a bodysuit, granting incredible protection, damage resistance, and mobility. The Rage Suit also features a mechanism to rapidly spike the adrenaline of the wearer, enabling them to rush enemies for powerful melee attacks. One Rage Suit has been added to the inventory. New item available, Rage Armor. By injecting the Rage Suit with additional Illyrium, its protective qualities are improved while retaining its inherent mobility and potential for devastating melee assaults. Accept. Experimental Heavy Weapon. Although our heavy armor suits are already formidable protective enhancement for our troops with some additional reinforcements and a few mounting points, it's possible we could equip even more advanced wrist-mounted weaponry capable of decimating, or as we like to use in the proper word, devastating enemy positions. Most people wouldn't consider taking 10% of something very devastating. Okay, but my English pet peeve moving on, we shall scavenge. Incoming transmission communication from the Resistance. Commander, the Resistance Council has a new high-priority mission. Has new high-priority mission information. Okay, well, let's view it and see what you got. East Asia Operation Rad St Red Stranger. Extract VIP from Advent City. Reward, Dr. Katavol Aguda, Scientist, 92 Intel. Launch mission. Setting course for East Asia. Okay. Jane. Jane, Jane, Jane. Build items. Let's take a look at that armor. The Rage Armor Instant Build 75 supplies. We have 15 alien alloys. We have 5 lyrium crystals. We have. Okay then. Serpent Armor. 75 supplies, 10 alien alloys, 10 lyrium crystals. Build time instant. Well, okay. Let's do that then. And, okay, we're not going to worry about weapons at the moment, except for this. Gremlin Mark III Squad Upgrade 75 Supplies, 10 Alien Alloys, 10 Illyrium Crystals, and yes, please. Okay, now, let's back out to Jane. She is shaken, but let's see if we can't cheer you up just a bit with some rage armor. We've only got one of these things, so be careful with it. Just because you look like a berserker doesn't mean you can go charging off into combat like they do. Well, fine, be that way. Killjoy. All right, and let's see. Serpent, snake. Hmm. I'm thinking either sniper or our other ranger. Let's give it to Supermodel here. Let her play with it. Just to test it out. Grapple, Frostbite. Serpent Armor adds mobility and increased chance of taking grazing shots instead of outright hits. Wrist-mounted grapple can be used for traversal or to pull enemy units out of cover. Wearing this armor is a chance to panic vipers. Well, that's very I'm not blue. entirely sure how much of this armor is new material and how much of it Tygen cut right out of the Viper itself. We haven't exactly tested it either, so good luck out there. Well, thanks. So, I don't think Jolt is with us. Let's make sure we've got at least someone, Sentinel, haha, <laughs> as a healer. Not our best healer. Let's see, is there anybody else we could... Nope, 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 nope. Love you, love your show, but... Is there another specialist? Jamila is a sergeant. But I think she's got a healing kit, so we're going to take her. Okay. Off we go. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. Beginning mission. We received a priority one transmission from the spokesman. The resistance has a VIP operating out of this area in need of immediate extraction. Advent forces are on alert nearby. Be prepared to engage and eliminate any hostile contacts. Secure the area and escort the VIP to safety. 
Copy that. Menace 1 5, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Don't blow up the roof, don't blow up the roof, don't blow up the roof. Advent okay. already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Let's see. So. Taya, let's move you over here. Let's do this! And then see if we can't get Claudia. Oh, let's send Claudia up here. And Jamila, let's get you in a half cover no problem, behind boss. that. And Sentinel. Sentinel has the cool, um, can run and still get cover, right? Every vigilant spend all your action points, you're granted automatic overwatch. Okay, so let's. Scoot him here. Location confirmed. Okay, he saw something, but let's move on to Jane. Jane, Jane, Jane. Okay, Jane. Well, let's run you up to half cover here. Hi, uh, everything seems relatively cool. Let's move Tire you up here. Around. Rascal, Jamila, you rascal, you. Let's side you up to here. I can handle that. Iron Maiden. Let's give you the front of the bike. Sure thing. Trike thing. And. Let's get you up to full cover here. That's not a good sound. Crypto! Let's slide you up here. Got it! Moving! I'm on it! What do we got? Oh boy. For armor and for damage. Well, the hi point. there. Welcome to the party. Okay, what do you got? 81% chance? Fire, please. Well, that's unfortunate. Gonna have to get everybody away from those cars, yes. too. Okay, Taya, you are no longer in cover. Let's slide you over here for right here now. I come. Rupture. What I wonder about rupture is if it will persist through the Andromedans first stage into the second one. I mean, it would help if, you know, we hit first, but Shot failed to connect. I hadn't noticed. Rascal. Rascal, you are in a terrible place. So let's try something really ultra Whatever crazy. You say. With a healer. And. Hmm. No. I'd like to shoot the shield bearer, but. <laughs> Four into armor, other. three into damage. We really needed Taya to hit with that shot. Jane has a 97% shot. And is against that car, which is not good. So let's hold off on Jane for a moment. And who else do we have? Claudia. That's considered cover, huh? Interesting. Interesting. 
No, oh, okay. I'll play your game. Absolutely. 87% chance, 45, 45. Get this guy out would be a really big bonus, but let's see if we can't at least get the Andromedon past stage one here. That armor's tough. Yeah, it is. Gene, what about Sentinel? Sentinel. All right, well. 94% shot. We can try a rupture shot with Sentinel too. 94% chance. You Let's do some. it. Okay, so 12 and rupture. Now one. we'll see if the rupture persists as it reactivates. Okay, you, my friend. Why don't you come over here? Maybe just a little bit more full cover. And hunker down. Jane. Jane, you want to try something? Can you do something crazy like take a stab at him from here? It looks like you can, Jane. Give it a whirl. Of course, they're a prime target for a grenade or that splash damage, but... What on earth just happened? Yeah. Wow, we seem to be, um... I guess he passed by her, she got a shot at him, and he got a shot on Sentinel. Thanks for running up to the window like that, Sunshine. I don't suppose you'd like to run too. Oh, you would. That's really awesome of you. Feeling lonely there? Alrighty. We have passed our 20 minute time limit, so we are going to drop a save right here. And we will pick up again in episode 31. I would like to thank you for joining us on this XCOM adventure. And I would like to thank you as always for your kind words and support. I would also like to remind you that I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page. If you're on mobile, it'll be on my channel about page. Also, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and links to other videos that I've made. I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe and ask you to please take care.